ship. 
However, there was not much information to go off of. They knew that Wanda had left and had tried to head towards work. However, she never arrived at work on October the 5th. The police began to search in the area around her house and kind of drawing a radius between that and her work. And they eventually found Wanda's car, which was abandoned near some apartments on Wade Avenue on October the 13th. Now, Wade Avenue was not very far at all from where Wanda was living off of 11th Avenue South at the time. The police questioned people who lived in the nearby apartment complex and those who had seen Wanda's car. And everyone that lived there claimed that her car had been there for around a week's time frame and that they had not seen anyone leave the car or get into the car and none of them had seen anyone resembling Wanda at all. The police, of course, were eventually able to get into Wanda's car and there they found which was visible the whole time and they found that odd since this contained, you know, all of Wanda's belongings but they also found what appeared to be signs of a struggle In Wanda's car, there was also a shrub-like plant and the police also sadly found a lot of blood in the back seat car. The police, of course, ran tests on this blood and found that the blood did in fact belong to Wanda. The amount of blood that was in Wanda's back seat led police to believe that Wanda had most likely passed away due to the amount of blood that was found. It was just really honestly too much to believe that someone had survived whatever altercation had happened there in her car. The police continued to search for Wanda's remains or any further information about Wanda. However, her remains were never ever found. Now the police have stated disappearance and that this was just, you know, a fluke that this happened to two different members within the same family, which is so, so awful and so sad. The police truly can't claim that they are not related in nature, but that both women were most likely either taken or in some form of altercation with people that they knew at the time. These two cases just break my heart in two. I truly, truly, truly hope that the Walker family gets the answers that they deserve, not for just one case, but for both of these cases. To think about all of that drama that goes through missing one family member, but having to deal with two instead of one is just completely awful. I really hope they get the answers that this family deserves, and that if anyone has seen or knows something, that they will come forward and share 